people? How are you guys doing? Welcome to another video. My name is Creepies, but you guys can call me Pits. First and foremost, okay? I am incredibly sorry that I have been absent, but my life was turned upside down for some reasons, and it kept turning me upside down, so I wasn't in the mental state for recording a video, but let's get the out of the way because it's gone already it's in the past there's a hair here i know that i'm late on the train of the crow trailer but i haven't watched that i've been dreading to watch that <laughs> dreading is, is such a strong word i've been dreading to be disappointed by that because i am aware i saw listen i saw i saw this picture right i saw i saw this i saw this picture this part here of the picture and like we all know that that's too much right that's too much but today i took uh, i took the time to put on the crow makeup, at least a part of it, like an attempt of it, may not be very good, but here we are. I watched the OG movie yesterday again, just so it could be very on point to like what to expect, you know, because I'm a huge lover of the OG movie. The first time that I watched that, I was probably like 11. Uh, well, it wasn't when it came out, it was probably like 11, 12. I got like, my God, this, this, this is it, this is it, this is, this is my core, this is my... So like I resonate a lot with that movie and the whole uh, concept of the movie, it's something really, 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 really strong there. I, I don't want to talk a lot about this because I don't know what we're going to see in the trailer and if it's going to translate that. So first trailer, I'm not going to pause anything because I'm not going to react to this one. We're going to watch it together, all right? So the first, mo first trailer is the one from the OG. Just so we can be more disappointed, maybe, with the new one. Because that's what everyone told me. Pete, you can't watch that. Please don't make a reaction video. You're going to be so disappointed. I'm like, here I am. But this is the OG one. Mirror Max. People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes, just sometimes, the crow could bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. A certain work of visual style. Sorry, I love those voices. You're all going to die. A dark, lurid revenge fantasy. Is that gasoline I smell? Medic <laughs> pounding adrenalized fees for the sensors. Victims, aren't we all? Starring Brendan Lee in his final tragic performance. Real love is forever the crow. So this is the OG. This is the OG. For you guys that are not aware, maybe I'm not gonna call anyone out, alright? Maybe you've never watched the movie. Maybe you're not aware of what the crow is. You know, maybe you're not aware of the story of the crow. But Brendan Lee died while filming the final scenes of the movie, alright? Because they were like supposed to use a prop gun. And one of the, the bullets was malfunctional or was like a real bullet. I don't quite remember the details of that. But like what happened is that the gun shot and actually shot him in the chest, like uh, in his organs here. And he wasn't able to survive that, which is super tragic. And that like, I feel that partially that adds a lot to the whole Crow universe. You know, I feel that like for the people that are very passionate about it, like like myself, it's like it made this the bounds to the movie stronger for us one of the reasons why like people respect that so much and like probably nobody touched that so far because brendan lee was just perfect for the role there was no better person to play the crow he had that very eerie vibe the body language that he was able to put that as well everything was fitting so well but now we're gonna watch the the new trailer, the one with Bill Scar Scar Skarsgård. I'm probably butchering the name. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of like, eh. I'm gonna try not to be like too passionate about the old one, even though we just watched the, the trailer of the one and I just talked like how I love that. But I'm gonna try to watch this one. Uh, so let's let's watch the, the new trailer um, of The Crow. I'm gonna watch it like, once and then we may like watch it again and go back like pausing shit, all right? I, I feel that that's a good way of watching it. Oh, till you put the rope. Now, 
Now let's break down a little bit uh, and comparing at the same time this one with, uh, with the other one. First of all, this, C this CGI here, it, it's, it's, it's really bad. Like this, this crow here, you can tell that this is fake. You can t totally tell this is fake. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliant. So they are giving a little bit of backstory. You feel like my... Okay, so they are giving her a little bit of story as well. I don't think it's necessary to give a little bit of backstory. Because that's not the focus of the story. Uh, the focus of the story was always like uh, him coming back to get revenge because of what happened to the one that he loves. Okay, so he wins the stuff. So the question is that they kill her here or is she still alive? Because I noticed that at, at the end of like the trailer, they say like, you can still save her. So I don't know if they kidnapped her. They're going to give a choice for him to save her. Which is pretty sh if you if you if you wanna know. Cause like the whole premise of the, the crow is he was given a chance to get revenge. He was given a chance to make justice with his own hands for what happened to the one that he loves. On the first one, she was not only murdered in front of him, she was uh beaten and something that I can't say on YouTube. And that's why he comes so angry from beyond the grave you know it's poetic it's like it's his love turning into like his will and his power to be back to life to make justice because what happened to his girlfriend could not be could not go unpunished because that, that's what happens on the first one it goes unpunished because people didn't have uh what to like how to frame the responsibles so he witnessed the same thing, but I, apparently he died there and she didn't die there. He dies in a different way in the first one. That's not how he dies. He dies like falling from the from a, being thrown out of a window, being defenestrated. Love that word. I got a point that I I really enjoyed that they put like Ozzy as a soundtrack. It's still a good choice. It's not like it's not goth. You know, doesn't necessarily need to be just because it's a very, very strong movie in the gothic subculture. I feel that like the choice of Ozzy and Post Malone is a very nice way to kind of like keep a little bit of the essence and still talk to the new generation, you know? When someone dies... So we don't have Sarah anymore. We don't have this old dude. I don't know if this old dude is representing that death or like so the Green Reaper or something like that. The soul cannot rest. Okay. Until you put the wrong things right. Okay, so that would be the same dude as a pawn shop, I feel. You were given the power of a god. So he kind of dies there. Like that that's the thing, which is different. And I feel that that's like a bad thing on this one. Is that like he feels the pain? He goes like all weak and whatnot. Meanwhile, on the OG one is is when he realizes that he's immortal. So he doesn't like he actually gets like just like a flinch. He just flinches. I feel that this like gives like a little bit of like difference in the character because like the first one is not afraid of dying again. That's why he just flinches. Like it's it's a small act. Just flinching for to a shot is a small act. And this one he gets like. Minor differences in the direction, the directing of the acting. These minor differences are quite losing a little bit of the essence of the crow. So I feel that that's what, ha what is happening here. Like, instead of like, he just flinching and realizing that he's immortal and getting all like, <sighs> he just like, he completely falls in the bathtub and like, <gasps> wait, I'm not mortal. And then he get like proceeds like to realize. So I feel that it's a little bit more of like a less poetic, more of like a fragile crow so far. But you're running out of time to save her. You're running out of time to save her. That's the quote that I didn't like the most in this trailer. It gives hope. And that's not about it. The crow is not about trying to save her. She's gone. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. Look at that. You know what I, what I mean by more fragile? I was like, I'm gonna kill all of them. All the single, all of them. 
seems more uh, sad on this one instead of. You. Yeah, he did. Like that scene, for example, when he when like the the, geek, the guy just go like, "I killed you," and he goes like, "Yeah, you did." When the guy realizes that in the first one, it's like so much more. I killed you. What are you doing alive? You know, because they were sure that he was dead. Not like I killed you. How are you alive? We have a problem. He came for us. Also, his makeup is not. His makeup is not on point, you know, like I understand that he's he's like trying to go for a more like new vibe, but it's still but you can change the makeup. You can you can do more things, but like this one, like here, here you can see how cheap it is. Look at this. Like this is when I when I ruin my eyeliner, it stays like this, you know, like the makeup is inspired by the mask that he has from the theater. If I'm not mistaken, it's the tragedy joker or something like that. You know, it's not just makeup. Like there, there's a, there's a meaning behind the makeup. Cause like tragedy, you know? First impulse. And like this sword, come on, let's be a sword. Like, I don't know if he has a, the sword in the comics, but like how he got popular is not by using a sword. This guy has like, kind of like, I don't know, weird vibes. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. It's love. It's not. It's not giving this vibe. It's giving me more. It's giving way more anger vibes than than revenge because of what happened to your the, the one that you love. You know. Look at what you've become. You know that love promises only pain. See on this scene here. Check it out. He gets more of a super power stuff that like is it's like a killing machine that knows what to do already, knows how to kill, has experience with that. And the crow doesn't have that vibe. He he is indeed a killing machine, but he's still like fighting in humane ways. It's not like ta 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 ta. It's not like a special agent in the first one. You know that love promises only pain. No idea what hell you. No. That scene was quite nice. He's shooting himself in order to kill the guy. I think it was, it was a nice touch. It was a nice touch. I do. How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. His walk, even his walk, that's what I mean. Even his walk, he's walking more like a of like gang guy instead of being like the guy that is like from the shadows. I feel that they lost a lot of the essence of the OG Crow, okay? I don't know if they did that on, on, on purpose. I, like, like again, uh, I'm trying to see this, not be super pessimist. Like, I'm gonna watch this, of course, uh, to, to take my conclusion. I'm probably gonna record a video to see, like, oh yeah, that's exactly what, it, what, it, what happened. They lost the essence of, like, focusing on the death. That's one of the strongest stuff in the OG one. It's like showing the tombstone. It's like acknowledging that he died and that something stronger brought him back it's, it's the whole thing of like he coming back from the dead to get revenge to get justice to get justice it's not to get her back he's not trying to get her back on the first one so i feel that they lost a little bit of the essence while putting death a little bit aside that he also lost a little bit of a little bit of class that a character has because the character is not a psychopath he's he's going crazy doing crazy shit yes he is but he's very aware of his doing like he's in a path i feel that 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 is kind of lost here especially by adding the the whole uh she still she still can be saved you know like yeah she's she still can be saved uh and what he's gonna go back to the dad he's gonna be go back to life and live with her like uh, this is is disney now is this disney now or stuff like that so i think that he lost a lot of the essence there uh the reason be behind the makeup as well as i mentioned before was lost the characters not having sarah there which is a strong character in the the, the first movie that brings a lot of innocence to the movie a lot of people do not realize that, but it brings a lot of innocence to the movie and showing that the crow is not evil. And that's probably why a lot of people are hating on this trailer. 
because we passionate people about the crow. Uh, I'm trying not to have like the passionate look at it. As I said, it's quite hard, but I'm trying to, you know, because I want to see this like, oh, what if the crow has never existed? This is the first crow. Seeing this as if this was the first crow, I am kind of like, hmm. It's kind of weird. It's more of like uh, another Marvel or <laughs> a superhero movie. I'm gonna watch it, as I said. You know, let's see what it's, what it's gonna bring. What is it like? Maybe, maybe it's they are able to bring the good stuff. Maybe. I, I, I like to hope for that. Cause it would be very nice to have like the renewal of what a crow meant to us. You know, it would be nice to see in the new generation like the new generation having the crow as we have the crow. That's the, like, I always like to try to see it on the bright side. You know, I didn't like the trailer per se, cause like a lot of stuff are out of my, my and probably a lot of people's feelings towards the crow and the, what, what the whole, the crow means, you know? I feel, that, I feel that it's bad, but there are good things there. And maybe it can turn out an okay movie. I don't know. I don't know what, what can happen after this. I like to have like, uh, try to see it on the bright side and expect good things from that. It's very clear for me that they, they, they drift away from the OG a lot in a lot. Uh, I don't know whose fault is that. I don't think Bill is a bad actor. I uh, probably think that this is like a lot of like the director's choice, not like try to remake the crow as the crow was. Maybe, maybe, he, maybe this was even like a, 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 a wise choice from the director to not like try to touch what was already perfect. You know, maybe he's like, okay, I'm gonna remake the, the crow, but I'm gonna remake my way. Cause that one is already perfect. I'm not gonna try to remake the same way. That can be a thing, we never know. And I feel that it's like very, very, very shallow of us to try, just try to jump to conclusions without having what actually goes to mind. I would probably have to like watch a lot of interviews with the director and read a lot of stuff to understand what was his thought behind this. And I'm very curious about it, to be honest. We're gonna see this this year, later. Maybe I come back to talk about it. Let me know your take on it, guys. Let me know your take. I'm really, really uh, excited to know what you guys feel about this trailer and uh, what you guys know feel like that is happening. Cause after all, it's been 30 years from the OG one, all right? I hope you guys have enjoyed the reaction and the makeup and what I brought to the table today. Don't forget to ch check us on the YouTube music reaction channel, the gameplay channel that we have now as well. Twitch from Monday to Friday, Friday 6 p.m. GMT. It's probably like a little bit different now cause you guys are on the daylight savings and we don't have here in Brazil daylight savings and I stick to the same schedule. Last but not least, don't forget to drink your coffee and catch your live radio.